Okay, guys, I haven't told you what's going on yet. You two are my favorite guinea pigs, right? So <laughs> I don't watch the Golden Globes, but I knew they were last night. And they have the red carpet who wore it best, right? Okay. So we're going to do the Walnut Ridge black carpet, which camper was the best, okay? Okay. Ryan, I'm going to have you do the clipper. Okay. Andrew, you are going to do this passport right here. Okay. I don't remember what model it is, but you're doing that one, okay? Okay. So, dealer's choice. Andrew, you go first. Okay. You don't go anywhere. Alright. Alright, so this is a Passport. This is part of the GT series. This is going to be the 2521RL, so it's a rear living unit. First thing you're going to notice as you're stepping up in, nice solid steps. So, feels a little bit heftier as you're heading inside. Now guys, this is one of our most popular Passport models. Easy to see why. Nice big open back area back here. So we've got a full size refrigerator here with freezer. New style oven. It's got the lighting around it. Has a glass cooktop so you can use that as counter space if you're not utilizing the stove top. Nice big single basin sink there. With a detachable sprayer. Huge countertop area. Got the nice couch in the back with storage underneath. Nice big uh, U-shaped dinette that does fold into a bed. Now the couch sits right across from the TV over here, so you got your nice entertainment system. Great bathroom, plenty of room to move around inside there with the neo angle shower. Lots of storage throughout, and then into the bedroom. Now this is a full size queen bed, not a camper queen. And then we've got the nice barn door there. Plenty of storage inside here as well as well as plenty of room if you've got a CPAP machine or something like that. Um, any other questions or anything, this is a walkthrough Wednesday with Andrew. This is the Passport 2520. Get a hold of one of us. Okay guys, so you heard Passport, Andrew, the 2520. Now we're gonna go over to Mr. Ryan with the Clipper Cadet. Now I will say Andrew did a really good job on the Passport, so you're up, buddy. All right, well guys, if you're looking for a lightweight, uh, small bunk unit, I've got the Clipper 21BH Cadet here. As you can see, it is a traditional build, so your aluminum siding, uh, your wood frame does have full pass-through storage. Um, guys, the awning on this thing is almost a complete length of the camper, and it is a power awning as well. Uh, this unit uh, is a tandem axle unit and it does come in just over 4,100 pounds. So let's come on inside. For not having a slide, this is a pretty open unit. You've got your queen bed here. You've got your uh, his and hers closet storage above as well. Uh, all LED lights. Have your good size booth here that does convert down into a bed as well for extra sleeping. With And then your bunks in the back. Uh, so you do have a space for the kiddos. Uh, nice big open sink here. Um, and then your uh, burner top here. This does have a microwave as well. Um, extra storage here. And one thing I love about this little clipper, you do have uh, your tub surround as well. Um, but hey, great unit. If you're looking for something small, lightweight, um, and also extra sleeping for kids or any guests you want to bring. This has been the, uh, the Clipper Cadet 21BH. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Andrew was over here spying the whole time, hoping his would win. So vote either for the Passport or the Clipper. You can show favoritism to your favorite salesperson, Andrew or Ryan. I almost called you Amber. Um, and I will get whoever wins to give a great acceptance speech for the next video. Sound good, guys? Oh, great. Let's do it.